I have purchased hundreds of musical instruments in my time. Hundreds. I got over a hundred music instruments right now. I play all sizes of ukulele. I play Irish tin whistle, recorder, harmonica, piano, digital keyboards of all sizes, shapes, and descriptions. I play the kalimba, but this is the only instrument that has actually hurt me <laughs> and that I damaged the first time I ever picked it up. This instrument is deadly. Don't buy this. It can kill you. Well, it's not going to kill you. I'm sure this is a sweet little instrument you can buy. But just beware when you find out what happened to me. I picked this up with some hesitation. <laughs> the last time I put this in my mouth, I chipped my tooth. And I destroyed the instrument all at the same time. Now, how can you do that? Isn't this just as simple and easy and sweet as these things? I mean, what can you do with a recorder? I mean, it's impossible to go wrong with a, a recorder. Or even this little woody here. It's an Irish tin whistle. You can pick it up, stick it in your mouth, and blow and you're not going to hurt yourself unless you hit yourself over the head with it, which is what I probably should have done with this, because now i got to go to the dentist and have him do some work on my tooth. How did this happen? I mean, I might look like a regular guy, and I have some intelligence. I went to school <laughs> about 30 years. Yet, how could I bust my tooth on this? And you might see I have uh, chewed up the reed here. Now, if you have one of these and know how to play it, I'm sure it makes beautiful music. If somebody has showed you how to use this correctly and gotten you started with it, okay. I mean, doesn't this look very similar? to this, and the recorder's not dangerous. You can't break a recorder unless you run over it with your car, and it still might not break. This is a mystery to me. It won't be. One day, I will put another reed in here at my expense. I will go back and find out how to play this thing, and I will be able to play it. But how did I break my tooth on it? I found a YouTube video, and almost always, when you get a good YouTube video that instructs you, then uh, it helps you. So, the person picked this up, he says, I've been teaching people for over 75 years how to play this mini saxophone. He called it something else. And maybe he was talking about something else, but it sure looked like this to me. He said, what you do, this is the easiest way to get started. And he says, your only goal is to make a noise. <laughs> I made a noise all right, but it didn't come out of here. He said, put the instrument in your mouth, grasp it with your teeth, and he did, and then let your hands go, and when you let your hands go, you automatically bite harder. I bit into the instrument, tore this up on this side, and broke my tooth right here, all at the same time. Was this my fault? Or was this his fault? 
What happened? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. That video got tons and tons of wonderful comments and great response and everybody loved it and it looked like everything was just fine. How could this happen? So, I'm just telling you, if you get one of these mini saxophones, and by the way, this did not. I purchased this on eBay for under $16. Free shipping, I think. Did not come with any instructions. No instructions whatsoever. So, if you get one of these, find a better instructor than I had <laughs> to help you learn how to play it. Be careful not to bite into your reed here and don't try to hold it with your teeth or you might get it, as I did, a trip to the dentist's office. Thanks for watching.